The scripture says, of the extension of his kingdom, there will be no end. Always room for advancement. He's a high priest of good things to come. It doesn't matter. You can go a million years down the road and you'll stand there and say, look at that, good things to come. And as we think of this, that we will be expanding in our knowledge of God and the ways of God and the goodness of God. And at the same time, Ephesians chapter 2 tells us that um, his objective is that throughout the ages of eternity, he will be lavishing upon us his kindness through Christ. We'll be discovering new things about him, fresh discoveries. You know, sometimes I think when I, I'm, I'm speaking on the attributes of God, and I say, now, here it is, the little list. And I, I can almost sense the Lord looking over my shoulder and saying, well, that's a good start. That's a good start. There are a lot of things about God we have no idea. And, and as we think of this, the book of the Revelation is called Revelation, the unveiling of Jesus Christ. No one's seen the Lord Jesus yet, you know. When he was here, he veiled his glory and what we saw was the Father. The scripture says, no one knows the Father except the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son reveals him. But then the scripture says, no one knows the Son except the Father, period. No one knows the Son except the Father, period. We saw the Father. Have I been so long time with you, Philip, and you haven't known me? He that has seen me has seen the Father. It was the Father. The words he spoke, they said, they're not my words. These are the Father's words. The deeds I do, they're the Father's deeds. He came to reveal the Father. We haven't seen him yet, but in that day, when we see him as he really is, there won't be one thing left to tempt us. Will there? When we see him in his fullness, we'll think the best of everything is bound up in that one wonderful person. He's the best of everything, isn't he? And we'll discover then that all of these silly temptations, these things that fooled our hearts into thinking that, that the lie of Eden was really true and that God had kept back the best, we'll discover then. That's not true at all. The, the very best of the whole wide universe of God is bound up in the Lord Jesus. He has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies, in Christ. God can't think of anything more to give me than he's already given me in his son. He has, he has lavished upon me everything he has. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things?